Even if others say good result, I don't believe they are honest. Surely, I'm curious all my life, but don't think ever ever is enough. My heart and body suffered a lot. How to deal with self-critics and self-hatred? The self-critics you are seeing in your life, as in the critics you're seeing outside of you, as well as the self-critic you're seeing inside of you. Understand what you often believe about yourself, how you often treat yourself behind closed doors is often how others will treat you. And that's because you cannot escape life's mirror. Life is a mirror reflection of you. And what is communication is a transference of energy, meaning it's not about what you say, it's what you're transferring as an energy to that other person. Hence why, how many of you have ever walked into a room before and there's a couple in there and you can feel, even though they're not arguing physically right now, right? You can just feel something happen in that room. You can just feel there was some, some form of argument in the air. You ever felt that? So even though they're not saying anything out loud, you can feel it. Yes, because communication is a transference of that energy. So if you're finding yourself often being surrounded by a lot of people who are saying bad stuff about you, it's because truth be told, it's because you're often saying bad stuff about you. And to the extent that you continuously bully yourself, you'll notice others around you will reaffirm that same insecurity back to you. And that's because what you currently believe about yourself, B, it leads to E, which is called expression. Expression. Yes? How you express yourself to others, yourself. And your expression leads to F, which is called feedback. How others talk to you. How others say that you are as a character. So this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. What you believe about yourself leads to expression, which leads to feedback, then further reaffirms what you believe about yourself. This is why I personally notice the times in my life when I was surrounded by the most bullies, let's say. To be honest, if I really am honest with myself, what I was hearing from those racist individuals were nowhere near what I was telling myself behind closed doors. It was absolutely nowhere near. And it wasn't until I overcame that self-hatred issue that these bullies and so forth no longer took interest in me. Now, if you're saying, but Tim, there are people right now in my immediate environment that's telling me all of this stuff. Well, just remind yourself this. Stop trying to be like everybody. You don't even like everybody. <laughs> Understand, even if you do one day heal yourself, you'll still get the odd people disliking you. But guess what? You dislike some odd people as well, right? So it's just human and it's okay. It's not a problem.